All right, welcome back everybody to another episode of When It Wednesday Trivia. Today is the May finale for When It Wednesday Trivia. So at the end of the episode, we will determine the first, second, and third place winners. All right. Sebastian, what's happening? Sebastian, you will be third today on the list. All right, so today's topic is kids trivia. So similar topic to the previous two weeks. All right, so today, Elijah will be first, Anjay will be second, Sebastian will be third. So that will be the order of the uh, list today. Who is first place? There is currently a tie for first place. Elijah and Anjay both have 19 points. So if there's a tie, uh, they will split first and second place. All right, we do have a $50 prize pool. All right, first will be 25, second, 15, third, would be 10 but in the event of a tie they would have to combine the first and second place uh, prizes and then they would split it evenly and then whoever's third place third place unchanged they would get ten dollars okay so let's go ahead get Elijah on first all right waiting on Elijah Oh, oh, we're going to try him again. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. Yes. Alrighty. What's happening, Elijah? Um, Nothing. I can't see you, but I can hear you, okay? Okay. Right. Uh, so that's okay. Hey, what's happening, Lyra? Lyra, um, send a request if you want to play when it was a trivia. Where's the volume? It just, just went down. So you can turn it up? No. Okay. All right. So uh, hopefully there is no tie for four people. Uh, I think Elijah and Angie are too far ahead for anyone, anybody to tie them, Sebastian. But anyways, Elijah, back to you. Are you ready for your first question of today? Yes. Yes. All right. So your first question is, who was the first president of the United States? So is A, Richard Nixon? B, Jimmy Carter, C, Theodore Roosevelt, or D, George Washington? First president of the United States. Yep, first president. I don't think it's George. It is. It is. What? It is. It is. is George? I thought he was like the, the 50 something or something. How much president? President? Something president yet. Oh, yo, yo, yo. oh, okay. Um, so it's George Washington. George Washington is correct. Oh, good job, Elijah. First question, first point. Next, all right. Good job, Elijah. Stick around, we'll come back to you in a little bit. Okay, all right. Okay, so just a reminder for anybody who is new to Winning Wednesday. Okay, I will ask you a multiple choice question. And then you try and guess the correct answer. If you get it correct, you get one point. If you don't, you can always try again. All right. And after the question, uh, you're going to help me kick yourself off because Instagram does not give me an option to kick people off. All right. So next up will be NJ. Where's NJ? All right. So NJ's next, Sebastian, and then Lyra. Waiting on Andre. Sebastian, your audio is bad again. Uh, hopefully, you can hear me okay, Sebastian. You can always uh, type your answer when you're live with me, when it's your turn. But for right now, we are waiting on Andre. Andre, let us know if you're there. All right, if you're watching on Facebook and you want to watch the youth play, you can go ahead and join us live on Instagram. Or if you want to play through Facebook, it's a little bit harder, but you can always drop a comment in the comment section. All right, that's okay if you can request. Uh, Elijah, I will request you in a little bit. We are just waiting on Anjay. He's supposed to be second on the list. Yes. So, like, I'm um, vegan request. And, like, uh -huh. um, we requested, like, 
after like the circle is almost done, it just said there was a problem. So oh, okay. But anyways, we've got you on now, NJ. Can you hear and see me okay? Yeah. All right. Are you ready for your first question of today? Sure. Okay. So your question is, who is the current U.S. president? So is it A, George W. Bush, B, Bill Clinton, C, Joe Biden, or D, Barack Obama? Joe Biden. Joe Biden is correct, yes. He is the current and, U.S. president. And, and Canada's um, is Justin Trudeau, I think. Ooh, okay, yes, you got it. Very smart. All right. Good job, and Jay, stick around and we'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? Bye. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Oh, that's funny. Okay. That was actually one of the follow up questions. Who is the current Canadian Prime Minister? But since uh, Andrea already gave us that answer, we'll have to skip that question. All right. Uh, but for now, we'll go to Sebastian next. Sebastian, we're coming to you. All right, Sebastian, you can type your answer uh, if your audio is not working. Hopefully, you can hear me. All right, give me a thumbs up in the chat if my audio is fine. And then I'll ask you your question. Let me get the questions ready. Okay. Okay, so you can hear me. That's fine. Okay, so Sebastian, I'll ask you the question and then you can go ahead and type it in the chat. All right, you can just say A, B, C, or D if it makes it easier for you. So your question is, who was the first Prime Minister of Canada? So is it A, William Lyon Mackenzie King? B, Lester B. Pearson? C, Joe Clark, or D, Sir John A. McDonald. John A. McDonald, you got it. Oh, you're ahead of me. Nice. All right, good job, Sebastian. Yes, first point on the day for you. All right, good job, Sebastian. Uh, go ahead and kick me off, and we'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? All righty, nice. Okay, next, we're going to go to Lyra. Uh, yes, Lyra is here. Nice. Hi, Lyra. Hi. Can you hear and see me okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. So it's been a while since you played, but hopefully you remember how to play. I'm just going to ask you a question, give you multiple choice answers, and you try and guess the correct answer, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So your question, question is, is, in which country would you find pandas? So is it A, Russia, B, Canada, C, Thailand, or D, China? Uh, <laughs> I think I heard one of my friends mention when they went to Thailand that they saw a panda, so I'm going to say Thailand. All right. Um, so just to make a little bit more clear, uh, which countries are pandas native to? Okay, so obviously we can see them in zoos here and there. All right, but where, what country would they be from, okay? Probably China, so, now that I think about it. Russia, Canada, China, or Thailand? Probably China. China? Yeah, probably. All right, China is correct. Woo! Good job, Lyra. All right, good job, Lyra. You got your first point of today. Go ahead and kick me off, and I'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? Alrighty, all right. Uh, don't worry, Elijah. If you can request, I will request you. Okay. All right. So good job so far to all the participants. Uh, we do have some new participants for this month, which is nice. All right. So uh, reminder to everybody: since next Wednesday will be June, that means we're starting a new cycle, a new month for Wednesday. So be sure to tune in 
uh, every week for June, all right? Because uh, for May, Elijah and Angie have a massive lead. Okay, so if you don't want to be behind, tune in every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Hey, we got Katula tuning in now as well. All right, Katula, you'll be fifth on the list. Actually, you can go next because Lyra just went. All right, Katula, let's see if you want to play. Oh man, this next question might be easy. Maybe if you no pop culture or Tula, let me know if you want to play. If not, we will go back to the top of the order, which will be Elijah. You're going to watch, are you? Right. Huh? Tula, are you there? Oh, yeah. Hi. Oh, okay. I just can't see you for some reason. All right. Uh, so, Kutula, do you want your first question of today, or did you just want to watch? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. All right. So, your question is, which book series has a character named Dumbledore? So is it A, The Hunger Games, B, Twilight, C, A Series of Unfortunate Events, or D, Harry Potter? Twilight. Think about it. Dumbledore. All right. Wow. Harry Potter? Harry Potter is correct. You got it. All right. So good job, Kutula. Uh, send me, me a request if you want to continue playing, all right? Otherwise, you can enjoy the show if you just want to watch. All right, but for right now, just go ahead and kick me off, all right? Okay. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Hmm. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to need you to kick yourself off because Instagram does not give me the ability to kick people off. Mm -mm. All right, Kachula, just go ahead and kick, click that X button in the top right, and then it will say leave. Yes, perfect. All right, thank you. Okay, now we're going back to the top of the order, unless somebody new joins. All right, top of the order, Elijah, next. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jimmy. All righty. Welcome back, Elijah. I can see you now. Nice. All right. Are you ready when for I'm your next school. question? Uh-huh. Okay. okay let's, let's see. see. Oh, okay. Your next question is, name the first song heard in The Lion King. The 1994 version, okay? So name the okay. first song heard in The Lion King. Is it A, Blue? B, Ice Ice Baby? C, Barbie Girl, or D, The Circle of Life? Yes, The Circle of Life. Ooh, yes, The Circle of Life is correct. All right, good job, Elijah. Stick around, and uh, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, see you soon. All righty. Nice, next one, and Jay. Yes, and Jay coming to you next. Hmm. Oh, Ruddy and Jane, welcome back. All right, how's it going, Anne Jane? I'm good. You're good? Nice. Are you ready for your next question? Yeah. Okay. So your question is, which country gifted the USA the Statue of Liberty, okay? So is it A, France, B, Mexico? Yeah, France, I think it's France. France, yes, that is correct. France gave the Statue of Liberty to the United States. Yes, all right, good job, NJ. Stick around and I'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? 
Bye. Okay, bye bye. Oh, alrighty. So so far so good for everybody. All right, next up, Sebastian. All right, so Sebastian, be ready. I am coming to you next. Where are you? Here we go. Okay, Sebastian, I know you still have some audio problems. So again, just type it down in the chat, okay? So your question is, besides Spanish, what language is largely spoken in South, South America? America. So, so is, is it A, a Mandarin, Mandarin, B, Japanese, Japanese C, Arabic, Arabic or, or D, Portuguese? Portuguese. So, so which, which of those four, four languages, languages is, is largely, largely spoken, spoken in South America? America. So, so again, Mandarin, Mandarin Japanese, Japanese Arabic, Arabic, or Portuguese. Portuguese, Portuguese is correct. correct. You, you got, got it, Sebastian. Sebastian. Yes. yes. So, so like, like Brazil, Brazil, they speak Portuguese. Portuguese. Yes. yes. All, All right. right. Good, Good job. job. Sebastian, go, go ahead and kick me off, and, and we'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? okay? All right. So, yeah, so, yeah South, South America, America, a lot of the countries, countries they speak they either Spanish or Portuguese. Portuguese. All right, it's a mix. All right, All right so next, next we, will we will go to Lyra. Lyra. All right, Lyra, it's still up. Nice. nice. Welcome back, Lyra. All right, are you ready for your next question? Yeah. Yeah, yeah? okay. okay. All right, so your question is, which Canadian-born pop singer did Haley Baldwin marry? So is it A, Jesse Reyes, B, The Weeknd, C, Justin Bieber, or D, Drake? Wait, 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 wait. What was the person's name? <laughs> so Haley Baldwin, who did she marry? The first person. <laughs> okay, so A is Jesse Reyes, B The Weeknd, C Justin Timber, sorry Justin Bieber, or D Drake. God dang it! I was gonna look at their last names. <laughs> yeah, so which Canadian-born pop singer did Haley Baldwin marry? You would think I know this, but I don't. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with the, <laughs> still the first one. I feel I, like... I, I, just guess. Oh. Hmm. Let me give you a hint. Uh, I... I'm not sure. I'm like 100% sure only one of those answers is married. And I think Sebastian is trying to give you a hint. It was made famous by Usher. Hmm. So it's a he. Okay. So either is it A, Jesse Reyes, B, The Weeknd, C, Justin Bieber, or D, Drake. Is he married? My mom would know all about this, but she's in the living room. I, I, I'm not, I, I, I'm not positive on this one still, but I think Drake is married. Is he? I don't. I'm not one hundred percent sure on that. <laughs> I don't know anything about singers except for Ariana at this point. I think. Um. Oh, I think. Angie's trying to narrow it down for you. <laughs> Justin Bieber? <laughs> Justin Bieber is correct. Let's go. Good job, Lyra. I haven't All heard right. it for like 10 years at this point. I know, right? All right. Good job, Lyra. Stick around <laughs> and uh, I'll come back to you in a little bit, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right. Good job. 
Okay. So after Lyra, we'll see if Cthulhu... Are you still around, Cthulhu? Does not appear he is still around. And that's okay. We'll go back to the top of the order with Elijah. Jimmy. Jimmy. Welcome back, Elijah. All right, how's it going, Elijah? Good. 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 Nice. All right, All right. are we ready, ready for, for your next question? question? Yes. Nice. All right. Oh, welcome, everybody watching on Facebook. We're just playing Wendy Wednesday Trivia, brought to you live by MGK and Shape Your Life. If you want to watch the youth play, go ahead and join us on Instagram, or I can participate through Facebook by commenting. All right, for right now, going back to Elijah on Instagram, your question is, in what city is the famous Golden Gate Bridge located? Okay. okay. So is it A, New York? No. B, San Francisco? C, Montreal? Or D, Miami? Okay, so can you repeat the, uh, the, the, um, the question? Golden yeah, Gate. so in what city is the Golden Gate Bridge located? Okay. So is it A, New York? B, San Francisco? C, Montreal? Or D, Miami? Okay, Elijah, you know this, you know. You did remember that bridge. Uh-huh, but I thought I was in London. No, not the London Bridge. You did an assignment on this. It's not Montreal for sure, and it's not Miami. It's New York. Ooh. What? Sebastian's giving you a hint. Warrior's home. What's that mean? Warrior's home. San? San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, really? Are you going to go with San Francisco? Yeah. Yeah. San Francisco is correct. You got it. Yes. Uh, so the Warriors were actually located in, I believe, Oakland, and then now they have relocated to San Francisco. But anyways, good job, Elijah. Stick around, and we'll come back in a little bit, okay? Okay. Okay, next up will be NJ. NJ, come to you next. So be ready. Oh. Welcome back, Andre. How's it going? I'm good. Good? All right. Are you ready for your next question? Yeah. Cool. Okay, so your question is, what is the biggest bone in, in the, the human, human body? body? So is it A, the femur? B, the clavicle, C, metacarpal, or D, humerus? Um, What's happening, C. Sally? All right, so I'll repeat it again for you, and Jay. What is the biggest bone in the human body? So is it A, the femur, B, clavicle, C, metacarpal, or D, humerus? Um, I'm not sure what it's called, but, but, but it's like here. Yes, that is the femur. All right. Oh. So, hello, Anya. How's it going? <laughs> All right, so, Angie, are you going to go with the femur? Yeah. All right, femur <laughs> is... Okay. Correct. All right, so you got it, NJ. Good job. Stick around. We still got some more questions, okay? You are. All right. <laughs> all righty. So to all our viewers watching on Facebook and Instagram, we are about halfway done, more than halfway done, our Winner Wednesday trivia. All right, and then today we'll determine the first, second, and third place winners at the end of the show. So next up, we're going to go to Sebastian. Where are you? And if you want to participate, you can send a request on 
Instagram or drop a comment on Facebook. Right. Coming to your next Sebastian, so be ready. Already Sebastian, so you already know how to play, so I'll just ask you your question. question. So your, so your question, question, Sebastian, is, is what, what country, country first used paper money? money? All right, so is it A, Singapore, B, Argentina, C, New Zealand, or D, China? Hey, what's happening, LV Prince on Instagram? How's it going? All right, we're just playing Wednesday, Wednesday trivia. So again, Sebastian, I'll ask you. Oh, all right. China is correct, Sebastian. Yes. All right, so China was the first country to use paper money. All right, so good job, Sebastian. Uh, go ahead and kick me off, and we'll come back to you in a little bit. All righty. Nice. Next up, we're going back to Lyra. All right, yes. Okay, I feel like this next question is going to be super easy. So, Lyra, be ready. All right, welcome back, Lyra. I feel like this next question might be super easy, so we'll give it a shot. All right, so your question, Lyra, is who lives in a pineapple under, under the, the sea? sea? <laughs> so is it A, Arthur, B, Homer Simpson, C, SpongeBob SquarePants, or D, Stewie Griffin? <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, SpongeBob SquarePants is correct. Good job. I know that one was a real thinker. All right. So good job, Lyra. All right, so stick around. I believe we still have one more question for you coming up, okay? Okay. <laughs> All right, good job. All right, let me just uh, take a look at the questions, make sure I got one more each for everybody. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yes, we got enough for everybody. All right, so Elijah and Jay Sebastian and Lyra, we got one more question for you each coming up. Starting first with Elijah. Hey, Jimmy. What's happening, Elijah? All right, so Elijah, your last question of today. All right, but still stick around after your question to see who wins the prizes, okay? Yes. Okay. So your, your question is, who is the Nobel Prize named after? So is it A, Stephen Hawking, B, Bill Nye, C, Alfred Nobel, or D, Thomas Edison? Uh... Yeah. yeah. Okay, can you repeat them? Yeah, so again, who is the Nobel Prize named after? So is it A, Stephen Hawking, B, Bill Nye, C, Alfred Nobel, or D, Thomas Edison? The Alfred one? Alfred Nobel? Yeah. You got it, Elijah. Nice. All right. Yeah. So Alfred Nobel uh, was the person who the Nobel Prize is named after. All right. So good job, Elijah. All right. Stick around. And uh, we'll determine the winners at the very end, okay? Okay, see ya. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, let's see. Next question for Anjay. Yes, where's Anjay? Anjay? Yes, all right, coming to you next, Anjay, so be ready. 
So again, for any viewers watching, if you want to play, send a request on Instagram or drop a comment on Facebook. All right, welcome back, and Jay, how's it going? So good. Good, nice. All right, so Angie, your last question of today, but still stick around because we're going to determine the winners at the very end, okay? Okay. All right. So, Angie, your question is, what is the most popular sport in Indonesia? So, is it A, basketball, B, Soccer. hockey, C, rugby, or D, badminton? Um, what is C and D again? So C is rugby, and then D is badminton. Um, um, bad. So what is the most popular sport in Indonesia? Hello, Enya. Um, <laughs> Shook best guesses. Batman, so the rug, or the book, C or D. I guess you're D. What do you think, Andy? Most likely... D? D. Batman. Okay. Badminton? Yeah, badminton. You think yeah, badminton. badminton. All right. Badminton is correct. You got it. All right. So badminton is the most popular sport in Indonesia. That's according to Google. So if I'm wrong, don't blame me. <laughs> All right, so good job, Angie. You got it. All right. Bye-bye, Angie and Anya. Okay, next up, we're going to go to Sebastian. So Sebastian, be ready. Alrighty, we're going to the past minute next for his last question. Just waiting for him to accept the request. Sebastian, I'm going to re-request you. Perhaps you did not get it. Uh, here we go. Sebastian, be ready. All right, we got you. All right, so Sebastian, welcome back. Your last question of today. All right, so again, you can just type in the chat because I know your audio is broken. All right, so your question is, what was the first animal to, to go, go into, into orbit? orbit? All right, All right so, so that, that means space. space. So what was the first animal to go into orbit? So is it A, a monkey, B, a cat, C, a ferret, or D, a dog? So what was the first animal to go into orbit? A monkey, a cat, a ferret, or a dog? Oh, Sebastian, dog is correct. You got it. Alrighty, good job, Sebastian. And that was correct. That was your last question, but still stick around. We will determine the winners at the very end, all right? So go ahead and kick me off, and we'll be moving on to Lyra next. Okay, Lyra, next. Coming to you, Lyra, so be ready. Oh, nice poster. What is that? What anime is that? My Hero Academia. Okay, yes, I remember you talking about that before. All right, so Lyra, your last question of today, all right? So let's see. Okay. Your question is, what is an animal called that eats plants and meat? Okay. So is it A, omnivore, B, carnivore, C, herbivore, or D, pescatarian? So again, what do you call an animal that eats plants and meat. So is it A, omnivore, B, carnivore, C, herbivore, 
or D, pescatarian? Okay, I'm breaking it down from my tiny brain. Okay, so herbivores where you eat plants, omnivores mm -hmm. where you eat meat, pescatarian, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's not it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with the first one. First one, omnivore for a final answer. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh God, now my brain's confused. What were the, what were the, what were the choices again? So repeat it. So A is omnivore, B, carnivore, C, herbivore, or D, pescatarian. Okay, so first one I'm pretty sure is not wrong. All right, so A, final answer, omnivore is correct. Woo. Good job, Lyra. That's kindergarten at this point. <laughs> yeah, we don't use those uh, terms much uh, after we learn it. So it's very easily forgettable. But anyways, good job, Lyra. You got it. All right. So thank you for playing today. And remember, every Wednesday, tune in at 7 for Wednesday, Wednesday trivia, okay? Okay. All right. So just go ahead and kick me off. Ooh. All right. Good job, Lyra. <laughs> Okay, so now, since it's the end of the month, we'll determine the first, second, and third place winners. All right, we accumulate all the points for all the Wednesdays in May to determine the winners. All right, and of course, any, everybody that played today who is a youth gets $5 for participation. Okay, so let's go ahead and tally these points up. Um, okay. Okay, so in no particular order, all right, uh, Ketula has one point for May. Caitlin from Facebook last week also has one point. Lyra has four points, all right. In third place, all right, so third place gets $10. Sebastian, you get ten dollars with five points all right so you got five points okay so now we have a tie for first place so elijah and nj are both tied with 23 points each they are very on top of their participation for winning wednesday so 23 points each they're going to share the first and second place prize pool which is a combined 40 dollars. all right and they'll split that evenly 20 dollars a piece Okay, so Elijah, you get $20. NJ, you also get $20. And then Sebastian, you get third place, $10. All right, so good job, everybody. Remember, next Wednesday is the first Wednesday of June. So that means we start a new monthly cycle. So be sure to tune in for all the Wednesdays in June. All right, thank you everybody for playing and I hope you have a great rest of your night.